Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Today I will be showing you guys a Dell Inspiron N5030 laptop and I'm going to be taking it apart just a bit, getting inside of it to reveal the um, inner components. We're going to be removing and replacing the hard drive today. So let's begin. First thing you want to do before we work on any laptop is we're going to close this down, flip it over, and you want to remove the battery. The way we do this on this laptop is there's two little releases here, so I'm just going to put this one in a unlock position. Let um, me see if I can get a decent view on that for you guys. So this one's going to be in the unlocked position. Then this other one over here is the release, so we'll just push that one up, and the battery should just pop or slide right out. There it is. We'll put that aside here. And for this laptop, I was a little disappointed because what Dell did was um, instead of putting a plate here where you can just remove maybe four or five screws in the plate, take the plate off, and reveal you know your major stuff, your RAM, your hard drive, Dell made it extremely difficult, uh, in my opinion, to get inside this computer. And I'm not sure if that was on purpose so you can send your computer in for repair and, pel and pay Dell's prices, but it was a little more difficult than most computers that I've personally worked on. So to get into this computer you actually have to remove um, at least 10 or 10 to 15 screws uh, uh, somewhere between there. But all the screws you have to remove and put this at an angle so you guys can see are right here. Um, there's one, two, so everywhere that I'm pointing out and you can obviously see this uh, little screws kind of in there but everywhere you find a screw on this back bottom portion uh, of the laptop is where you have to unscrew the screw and remove this in order to get into this computer and remove this bottom plate it's actually the top plate but I'm going to show you guys here in a second so for the sake of this tutorial to make it a little quicker I've already removed all the screws I needed but again, you're going to have to unscrew every single one of these screws before we can continue and move forward. So once you've already removed these screws, go ahead and pause the video, remove the screws, put them aside, and we'll, we'll move forward. Once you've removed the screws, you want to open up the laptop again. And to get into the laptop, it should feel it start snapping right off. this top panel this guy right here should just start coming right off for you and if it doesn't you can always use a little flathead screwdriver or something like this let me see if I can get it for you guys uh, I mean I bought this tool kit I think for maybe thirteen fourteen dollars it wasn't expensive but it included a lot of small screwdrivers I think I bought it to repair uh, some glasses or something but it works fine for laptops I just sort of um run it through the sides here and you'll feel it start snapping off for you and if it doesn't it'll start popping off but you basically want to pop off the drive or pop off this um, top portion and you'll feel that the computer is plugged into a few places and it's plugged in what's plugged in are these two um, you have the touchpad which is plugged in here I'm trying to get you guys a view and you have the keyboard which is that ribbon cable back there those two are plugged in and I don't personally it was a pain you know what to get them plugged back in there and get it closed so I'm not gonna unplug them for the tutorial but uh, you can slowly pull this off if you can if you have thinner hands than I do you can unplug those as well and this entire panel this entire top portion of the laptop comes off uh, if you want to do a keyboard replacement or if you want to you know upgrade the RAM or something it's all in there but for this tutorial I'm only going to show you guys how to remove the hard drive and the hard drive was, was pretty simple you don't necessarily have to uh, remove the entire panel if you're careful to replace the hard drive all I did was I slid it out and you'll see it slide out just like that by putting my thumb in there and it's now loose and you just pull up on the hard drive There's and you can be able to just take it out just like that. So 
I've already replaced this hard drive. I already put the new hard drive in there. So I'm not going to take it out again. But you can see that how I did that was just plug the unplug the drive, slit it out, and the drive pops right off. I can take it out if I wanted to. So once I've already replaced the drive, I'm trying to do this in real time on the uh, camera here. Let me see if I can just turn this over for a second, get the drive plugged back in. Drive is plugged back in. I'm going to verify and just make sure those uh, that ribbon cable on that uh, touchpad cable are plugged back into the motherboard, and they are. I'm also going to just double check the RAM because this RAM on this system, in my opinion, it looks a little funny. It's kind of angled at a weird angle, and um, it almost looks like it's not plugged in all the way and you know just to make sure you want to make sure those RAM pieces are plugged in correctly and in this case the RAM is plugged in I've secured the RAM I heard it pop in so that's there once I have already replaced my drive I want to start or done whatever I needed to do inside this computer I'm going to start just snapping it back into place and you'll feel it as you run your fingers around it you'll hear it start snapping and feel it start snapping and I'm just going to securely don't press down too hard this was manufactured somewhere else and um, most likely they didn't use the best plastic you don't want to break anybody's computer or break your own computer so be a little gentle with it. Give it a snug, kind of a, give it a, a decent little push, but don't be too rough with it. You know, if it feels like it's going to break, be careful with it. You can take a break or something, come back to it later if you're getting frustrated. But, and there it is. So I'm totally finished with replacing the hard drive. It was a little more difficult again than it normally is for any other computer. Um, but once you've done that, we got it taken care of. Again, this is the Dell Inspiron N5030 N5030 and what we've done so far what we did was just re remove these screws, take off that top plate and reveal the computer's inner components. We replaced the hard drive. I showed you guys where the RAM or you can see where the RAM was located. Those two plugs that were keeping the top top panel plugged into the motherboard. And that concludes this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, we're on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT Conflict. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash IT Conflict. And our website is www.itconflict.com. Again, my name is Eric with IT Conflict, Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Have a good day.